Yeah, well, the Olympic wrestling gold may have eluded her, but she is as high level a wrestler as we have in this division. And more often than not, I would think opposition is going to be, it's going to have a hard time stopping her takings. I mean, she is, or she reminds me of Sarah McMahon, Tatiana Suarez. Those high level wrestlers that came into women's mixed martial arts or female mixed martial arts and just dominate. And the one thing that separates her, though, her striking's better. She possesses the ability to stand. And because she can do it all, she's even more dangerous. I'm high on this kid, John. I'm very high on it. Yeah, she talked a lot about trying to be instinctual as a fighter, but you know what her instinct is going to be first and foremost, try to get a takedown and get this fight in her world. So here we go, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt looking to impose her will here tonight. She did tell us in the fighter meeting, she's starting to fall in love with her hands a little bit, but you got to think she's going to pursue a floor fight here tonight. Yeah, John, the beauty in that is by developing the hands, you'll have to take it into account. Once you take it into account, she'll take you out. And once you're on the ground, man, it seems as though she is just in her world. It's like a fish to water. It's like Daniel Cormier to wrestling. <laughs> when you're on the ground, she is safe, yeah. and she is comfortable. And when she's that comfortable, she can beat anyone. She has handled the UFC nerves, the jitters pretty well as well. So stylistically, tough matchup on her hands. She believes she'll pass it here with flying colors. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean third man in there for this one. Good to have you with us tonight from Team Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights, and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226. But this venue will always have a special place. For you. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226. I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history tonight. You get your chance. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Davis gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace, pace too. Oh, big shot straight up the middle, so she is not wasting any time. She gets the uppercut home against the BJJ fighter here in round one. She does a really good job of landing that uppercut, finding a spot and an opportunity to land, and lands right where she intended. Great start for the young lady. That shot is blocked by Murphy. She continues to bide her time here on the feet. Now throws a front kick in lands. That front kick was beautiful. Oh, roundhouse kick. <laughs> Davis going for the body. Missed with that kick. Just out of range with that right hand. 
Oh, a strong series of kicks by her there. It's almost like she throws her feet as if they're two more hands. I mean, that is crazy. Use every weapon available. And she is using her kicks as her main weapon. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Striking has been great tonight. Rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but I gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get it. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This one looked like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she needs to go all out to try to finish the fight. Oh, beautiful land with the front kick there. Defensively, not a good sign for her that that strike got through. It landed exactly where she needed it to. She has to make changes, start turning the elbow inside to try to make her kick toe to her elbow. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Nice punch there by Murphy. Under two minutes to go. Nice punch to the head. Well, hard to see exactly where she is cut, but it's somewhere around that eye area. Doesn't look great. It's never good to get cut, but right now it's a small one. You don't have to worry about it, but you got to protect it. Murphy gets caught by the straight punch. Oh, man, how about her hooks tonight? Landed several already in the round, and there was another one for good measure. Another one. What a fantastic hook. Landing. Great job fixing up the target. Murphy got into the sport initially after taking her son to a jiu-jitsu class. Real quick leg kick. Big shot lands to both guys. Davis's eye is starting to swell shut. Oh, nice jab. Under a minute now to go on the round. Murphy lands to that lead leg. She lands another leg kick. All right, so her hooks have certainly been the big storyline in this one, DC. Give us a prediction. You think she goes back to it here? She's absolutely going to go back to it. When I look at her fight, I think of John Lineker, where he just throws hooks to the body, hooks to the head. She does a great job of mixing up the target, and now as the fight has progressed, Expect her to try to really sit down on one to end the fight. Excellent ground and pound strikes here by Davis. Man, she's making these ground strikes count. Final seconds of round one. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of there. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually that's enough to end the fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round here. Kick lands. Well, this is surprising to me. I mean, I'm no expert, Daniel, but her wrestling is so good, and yet she hasn't attempted a single takedown. It limits her approach. It limits everything that she can do. She's such a good wrestler that it generally will set up the strikes. It will generally set up everything that she wants inside the octagon. But right now, she's a one-dimensional fighter. You take away that best skill, she's not as dangerous. No idea how these two women are standing. They are both landing massive shots. Lands another strike there. She's got it going on tonight with the swell on her opponent. It's starting to get pretty bad now. It's getting, it's getting bad. I mean, she's got to address it. She's got to change something up. Maybe she'll put a takedown. You cannot stay upright with this lady. She's too good in the stand-up. Big deep, 
beautifully timed and placed kick there by Hogan. She's got a cut above the eye. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Oh, massive kick lands flush. All right, so different rounds, same narrative, and it's the wrestler's hands, not her takedown. She came here to box. Too. Yeah, she came here to box. John, she told us that we were going to be very surprised at how good she looked in the stand-up. And to this point, she has proven that. But I wonder how soon we can expect a level change for her to try to take her opponent down. Because ultimately, you always go back to what you do instinctively. And we know that's a wrestling. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. And the blood is flying. Her confidence is growing. She will continue to try and target that cut until someone has to come in here, ringside position, and stop the fight. Effective strike there from the clinch by Alexis Davis. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Murphy. Well, she is clearly dominating in. Woo! She's hurt real bad. range with that right hand. Ooh, big shot land. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Check this out. Look for your shot. Murphy's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. 90 seconds to go. Take the shot. There you go, single leg. Davis is in half guard. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Oh, she's got an arm triangle here, and it looks tight. Very tense moment for her opponent. She's got the arm triangle locked in. What she's got to do now is get forward pressure. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. You never underestimate these fighters in submission defense. All right, so there it is again. Her striking has been on point really from the outset, and now some definite swelling on the opposition. Some absolute swelling. She has done a great job of targeting the face, making sure that every time she throws, she lands with an intent to just advance all the swelling that we are seeing right now. Davis is looking to lock up an arm bar here. Oh, it's tight. She's trying to finish the arm bar. She's got to be patient, though. If she rushes, she will lose this position. Oh, she gets the arm out, and she will live to fight on. She you slipped her arm out, stays safe now, and continues on. Final seconds here of round two. Oh. 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 All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, she is back to the stool, but... Dealing with a really big cut on the bridge of her nose. She has eaten jabs for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, she's taken far too many shots to the nose. Big shots. Devastating shots. And now she is wearing it. She's got a cut on her nose, and she's having to deal with the blood, and still her opponent trying to take her head off. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round on the way. Block the strike there. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes. Oh! All right, 
as she misses with the left punch there. I think she's going to go hard in the paint and go for a finish here. I'm just not sure why she is backing off the pedal a little bit. I don't know why she isn't committing herself to finishing this fight. She has done a great job of setting up the attacks that hurt her opponent. She just not has been able to put her out completely. I want to see what she will change to ultimately in the night. Davis is looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. Oh, she escapes. Murphy gets back up, and she is just relentless. Unbelievable. Great job getting to a position. Right into that center column. Just misses there with the left. Her leg kick is great. There it is. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Great defense to stay safe. Davis going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes. Mixing it up pretty well here. She's got her back now. Oh, nice. She is so dominant from the top position. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, and not you, boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, nice jab there by Murphy. Davis is able to protect the eye there with that block, so that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard and prevent further damage on that cut. Both fighters throwing heat now. Davis going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Inside leg kick is good. Well, this is not at all the way she expected it to go, at least when it came to the striking. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, she lands again. She has really targeted that cut effectively here in this round. And now she's in mount. She's not going to get it. Great awareness and execution by the defensive fighter. Beautiful transition. Under a minute to go. Murphy's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. All right, full guard now, DC, and just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard, already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions. Move to half guard, then continue to try to advance to either get off great ground and pound or just positional advantages in the ground. Well, not in the stoppage zone yet, Daniel, but that cut is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse and worse because she has not moved her head. She's got to move her head before she starts to see strikes coming in her direction. Nice ground strikes landed by her here from top position. Davis is in half court. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
Well, get the bonus checks ready. What a round it was. Multiple knockdowns on one side. And you got to think she's a little bit frustrated that she wasn't able to get the knockout. But every round begins on the floor. John, if she's getting frustrated, she will find herself in trouble. You cannot try and determine when a fight will be finished. You got to let it happen. Even if you get all those knockdowns, don't force it. Allow yourself to go back and do the same thing that gives you any reason to find frustration in not getting the finishes, but find the kill shot this time. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five. five Look, you can see it. Look, she's got her hurt. Oh, she landed a solid punch there. Davis is limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Got that single collar in the clinch now. Swing and a big miss by Murphy. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Oh, she left at her and lands the right diving there. punch to the head. Oh, this one could be over soon. Nice transition. Arm triangle attempt fire here. Arm triangle. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. It looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. She's doing a great job of controlling her. Now she's got to get her chest. Oh, great submission defense. Murphy gets back up. Good side for her there. Right to the single collar. She was able to close the distance, and now she's in her position. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow for a pump. Yeah, she doesn't. Oh! 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 That is as clean a knockout as you will ever see, and certainly the signature win of her career today. You don't get many like this. She said that she was going to knock her opponent out. And that is exactly what she did. What a performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 44 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Lucky Lauren Murphy! Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her in her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it. Thank <laughs> you. 